We're going to demonstrate building a custom PA RAD server interbase package off of the main base package. So I'm logging into my cloud server right now uh, using SSH in the Windows terminal, and I'm going to do a sudo apt update, and I'm going to do sudo apt install docker, which is going to install the, the needed docker files. And so we are going to build a custom Docker file here, and then we're going to deploy a RAD server module in that Docker file. So you can see that there's no, that I'm trying to connect to the server right now. It's not currently running because I haven't turned on the, the Docker image yet. So I'm going to move into the custom RAD server module directory, and inside this, this directory is a Docker file, and we're going to do a pull on the RAD Studio PA RAD server dash IB Docker image from Docker Hub. So I've, I've downloaded that. And now we are going to go over here to RAD Studio and we're going to compile this RAD server project. And so now we've created a .so file and we're going to upload that using WinSCP to the server. And you can see that there's our directory that has our Docker file and our other script files and custom custom file. So now we're going to bring back our Windows terminal and then we're going to see see the files here and you can see there's our BPL project onese file. So now I'm going to use the nano text editor. I'm going to go into the Docker file and show you the contents of the Docker file. So you can see here that it bases off of the RAD Studio PA RAD Server IB image and then we pass in an argument and it copies in to the Docker image. So now we're going to build our Docker, custom Docker image, and so we're going to do Docker build, and we're going to do tag equals PA rad server dash IB dash custom dash module. And we're going to build it in the current directory where the Docker file is, and we're going to use a build argument of module file equals the file name of the module, which is BPL project one dot SO. So then we're going to build that custom module off of the base image and we're building that now so now it's complete and it's tagged to that tag file name so now we are going to run the docker image in interactive mode this this new docker image that we just created and we're going to mount a persistent volume with a source of ems custom and that's the name of the volume and then a target of the etc ems directory where the RAD server files are contained. We're also going to mount the interbase directory, so that contains the interbase files for the RAD server database engine, and so that has a target of op interbase, and that's inside the Docker image itself. And then we're going to base, and we're going to give it an argument of config equals production, which means that PA server and Broadway D will not be running. And so you can see we're gonna, it's going to be available on port 80. And then we're going to call it, or the, the image we're going to run is the PA RAD server IB custom module. So the first run, it's going to ask you to license your RAD server. And so you need your RAD server serial number. So I'm going to enter my serial number here. And then I'm going to register my serial number with my Embarcadero developer network account. And so I have entered my serial number, and I am entering my account email address, and then I'm entering my password. And now my registration of RAD server is complete. I'm going to exit the license manager, and then the setup is going to complete of the PA RAD server IB Docker image now that it's licensed. And you can see that Apache is now running. And so now we're going to bring over a web browser, and then we're going to show you that RAD server is running. And you can see our test endpoint that we uploaded and packaged into the image.